One of the great things about art is it allows people to explore their place in the world around them, their heritage, and the materials that act as a vehicle for exploring those concepts. And that's what I find to be really exciting about the two shows that we have on view currently. Stephen Young Lee, who is a Montana-based ceramic artist, and Benjamin Lauder, who's an Illinois-based mixed-media wood sculpture artist, both explore the materials that they're working in through construction and deconstruction. The first artist you'll see as you walk into the gallery is ceramic artist Stephen Young Lee, whose work is an exploration of his Korean heritage through deconstructed traditional vessel forms. A lot of the work involves the creation of a number of different vessels. Some of them have been deconstructed or they're kind of cracking or breaking. That deals a lot with like failure and kind of questioning intent around the work. And then there are also elements where I'm questioning or just engaging a lot around my own identity as a Korean American and um, thinking about the cultural influences around you know, things that I've experienced or things that I sort of see in the world and then uh, using traditional forms to reference that in Korean culture or in American culture. One piece that I think has gained a lot of visibility was a set of two moon jars and you know the moon jar is a very emblematic form in Korean history and Korean culture. In this piece I'm also using color references that might be more familiar here in the United States with red, white, and blue and then using the star motif. So that piece was one that I was thinking a lot about my own experience as a Korean American. It looks like those elements aren't supposed to be together but really like that's kind of the story of somebody who grew up in this country you know through immigrant parents right is that we're kind of forging and creating our own path moving forward so it's not necessarily something that's existed before you know but we're we're kind of like uh, creating new new stories for ourselves into the future. I think the thing that I want people to take away from this work is really being able to kind of have an introspection about who we are as individuals, how we all have differences and kind of celebrating those differences and really learning to appreciate and embrace what makes us unique. As you walk into the second gallery, you'll see the work of Benjamin Lauder whose material-based approach to sculpture is utilizing uh, found objects and materials and reconstructing them based around uh, sacred geometry. The work on display at Duane Reed Gallery right now is really a continuation of a series of work I've been working on for almost a decade now called Myth, Math, and Magic, where I use reclaimed architectural elements combined with vintage metal signage to transmute their previous usage and turn them into new art objects. So my art making process has kind of three steps to it. First, I have to kind of have a treasure hunt and find the old vintage signage and architectural elements. And then the second phase of that is deconstructing them or transmuting them. And then the third step is the remaking or reconstructing, turning those elements into new objects. So working with these reclaimed materials is kind of a, a family tradition that started with my, my grandfather, Peanut Louder. Uh, he built his home out of reclaimed wood. Uh, and his six boys have all worked with reclaimed wood in construction capacity in some point. And then I adapted all of that into an art making practice. I choose to use the reclaimed and old things because I want to be creative and make things, but I don't want to contribute to just more material objects in the world. So using things that already exist feels right for me. I also work to encode things that I'm personally interested in, like ancient wisdom traditions, sacred geometry, the legacy of Buckminster Fuller, and architecture in general into these art objects that provide an opportunity for discussion and inquiry. They just generally take our cultural heritage, remake it, and help kind of maybe point us in a new direction. We're really excited to have both Stephen Young Lee and Benjamin Lauder's work here at the gallery. The exhibitions run through May 13th, and for more information, you can visit our website, which is duanereadgallery.com.